Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to find a sample size. Uh, suppose a mobile phone company wants to determine the current percentage of customers age 50 plus who use text messages on their cell phones. How many customers age 50 plus should the company survey in order to be 90% confident that the estimated proportion is within three percentage points of the true population proportion of our customers 50 plus who use text messages? Um, starting us off, off there, guys, we're going to need to know that our alpha is going to be 10%, but also known as um, 0.1. And then our Z alpha over 2, just to kind of keep us up with that idea there, um, that alpha is being divided by 2. So that's going to give us, um, instead of this just being 0 0.1, it's 0 0.1 divided by 2, which is a uh, 0 0.5, okay? And again, I'm just going to put that there. Uh, if you're using the table, you're going to get the table feature, but we're going to use the calculator. So um, I'm going to get back to that one in a second. Our EBP, it's stated in the problem. They want to be within three percentage points, but also known as 0 0.03. Okay. And nowhere in the problem did it actually say what the sample proportion actually was or the point estimator was. If it's not stated, we assume it's 0.5. Okay, so let's actually get our Z.05 actually out there. And again, that's going to come from our calculator. So I'm going to hit second bars. I'm going to go to number three, inverse norm. I'm going to type in one minus 0 0.05. Um, again, that's where that alpha over two comes in. And then zero and one, because we are looking at a Z-score here, all Z-scores should have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And then I'm going to just choose a, a left, okay? Um, everybody who has a TI-83 or an old school 84 that doesn't give this option, those are exactly what it's going to be. It's automatically a left, which is why we say one minus 0 0.05 here, okay? Once you've got all that together, just hit um, paste and put it into the home screen and hit enter. And this is where if you are looking at the table, uh, this is probably going to say um, 1.645 on the table. But again, we would prefer the unrounded version as we're going to work our way through this. Now, all you have to do now is just enter basically this into the formula there. And I'm just going to scroll to the next one here so you can see that formula. Here it is. So as I do this with the calculator here, I'm just going to basically take that answer and square it and then multiply it by 0 0.5 and then multiply it by 0 0.5 again because two prime is going to be 0 0.5. And then I'm going to divide it by uh, 0 0.03 quantity squared. Okay. And that's where we get it. And guys, I am going to say that you will need to round this answer up. So therefore, 752 people um, should be surveyed to be 90% confident that the true population of the 50 plus customers who use text messages on their cell phones will be contained with this in, within this confidence interval of 90%. Again, the reason why I'm always going to round up is you're not going to have a 0.5 of a person. You're always going to round up. And I don't even care what this actually is. If it says 0.1, you don't have 0.1 of a person. And if you round down, you're not going to be within that three percentage. Okay, so you always round up no matter what it is. It's always being round up. Okay. And that is how you find the size of what sample size you need in order to be within that error bound that you have chosen for a um, sample proportion.